Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your eighth Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at the event module. Alright then guys, so in the last tutorial what we did was we created a custom module called stuff. We required that in this app.js file and called that variable stuff and then we used it. Now as well as creating custom modules, Node.js also ships with a bunch of inbuilt core modules which we can use in our application. And we can require them in the same way that we would require custom modules. Okay, now one of those core modules in Node.js is called the events module. And that's what we're gonna take a look at. So when we are requiring um, a core module, what we need to do is just pop in the module name right here not the path to the module or anything like that, just the module name. And because it's a core module built into Node.js, Node will recognize that and it'll go out and it will fetch that module for us. So this module is called events. So that's all we need to do. And then we better change the name of this variable to something like events as well. So now whatever is returned on the module that exports of this module is gonna be stored in this events variable now, okay? Now, one of the things returned on that module.exports property in this module is the event emitter. And we can use the event emitter in Node.js to create custom events and then react to those events when they are emitted. So if you've ever used jQuery, we have something similar. If I was to write something like this, element.onClick, fire a function, okay? This is an event listener, right? So we're saying, okay, well, when this element fires a click event or emits a click event, then we want to fire this callback function and do something, okay? So we are reacting to an event being emitted on this element. So we can do a similar thing in Node.js. We can create our own custom elements instead of things like click and those, sorry, we can create custom events instead of things like click, and those events can be whatever you want. So let's get rid of this and do a simple example. So return to us on this module.exports in the events module, like I say, is the event emitter, and that is a constructor. So what we need to do is create a new variable, and I'm gonna call this my emitter, and I'm gonna set this equal to a new and then I'm going to use this variable right here, events dot event emitter. Okay, so now we're going to have our own event emitter object stored here. So now we can wire up events to this. So we can say something like this. We can say my emitter, sorry, dot on, and then create an event. And we'll just call this event some events something meaningless, right? And then when this event occurs, when it emits, then we want to do something. And that's gonna be in this callback function right here. And if we want, we can pass through a parameter into this callback function. Let's just say message, okay? So when this event occurs, when it's emitted, what we're gonna do is log to the console this message, okay? So now let's go ahead and emit this event. So we'll say my emitter and we can say dot emit and then choose which event to emit. So some event. And we also pass a parameter through to the callback function. So the first argument in this emit function is the event we want to emit and then the arguments thereafter are whatever we pass through into this function. So let the message just be um, the event was emitted. Okay, so now if we save this and say node app and run it, then you should see the event was emitted logged to the console or the terminal. And that's because we listened out for this event right here being emitted by saying dot on some event, okay? So we're listing for that event now on this thing right here, on this object. And then what we're doing is manually emitting that event right here, and we're passing this data, this string, into this function. And then when 
this event is emitted, this function, this callback function is fired and it logs that message to the console. Okay, so let's do another example, something a little bit more complicated to better show you the powers of this event emitter. So I'm gonna delete these things right now. And then to demonstrate this next example, I'm gonna require another core module in Node.js. And this other module is called util, which is short for utilities. And it's a utilities module, which allows us to do various things. One of the things that the util module allows us to do is inherit certain things from objects built into Node.js or other objects, okay? So let's require this, and you'll see exactly what I mean in a minute. I'm gonna say util equals, and then require util. Okay, so we'll use that in a minute, but first of all, what I'm gonna do is create a new object constructor. So I'll say var, and this is gonna be a person, and then I'll say this is equal to a function and it's going to take in a name and then inside here we're going to say this dot name is equal to name so whenever we create a new person we need to pass it through a name okay so let's go ahead now and use this util function or util module rather so what i want to do is inherit the events emitter so I want any person that's created using this to inherit the event emitter so we can attach custom events to people. So what we'll do is we'll say util, which is this thing right here, dot inherits, and then we pass through two things into this function. The first thing we pass through is the object constructor that we want to inherit something, and that is person. So we want person to inherit something. And the thing we want it to inherit is the events dot event emitter. Okay, so now it's going to inherit this and anything created using this person constructor is going to be able to have custom events attached to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some people. I'm just going to make three people. So first of all, I'll say var James equals new person and then we pass through the name, which is James. Then I'm gonna do two more, so I'll just copy this dude right now and paste it down a couple of times. Uh, the second one I'll call Mary and pass in the name there as well. And the third one, let's just call Ryu and we'll pass in the name there as well. Cool, so now we have three people, okay? James, Mary and Ryu. So now what I want to do is wire up some event listeners to each one of these using some custom events. So I'm going to store these three people in an array, first of all, and I'll call this array people. So set that equal to an array. And the first one is going to be James. The second one is going to be Mary. And the third one is going to be Ryu. So now they're all stored in an array. And now what I can do, because they're stored in an array, is say people dot for each, which is just a JavaScript method, which is gonna cycle through each one of these, right, yeah? And then for each one of these, we're gonna fire this callback function, and it's gonna take the name of whatever person or the person itself, so that's gonna be James, Mary, or Ryu, and inside this function, we're gonna attach some events or some listeners for events, okay? So what I'll do is say person dot on, and then we'll have speak. So we're taking whatever person object is currently being passed through into this callback function, so it could be any one of these, and we're attaching this listener to it, because we can do now. We've inherited the event emitter onto any object which is created using this constructor. So we can attach custom events to these people now. So that's what we're doing. We're attaching a custom event to each person as we go through it in the array. And then as we attach them, what we're going to do is declare a callback function, which is going to take in a message, something that they say. OK, so let's go ahead and log something uh, something to the console. So we'll say console dot log and we'll say person dot name, which is this property right here that we made. We passed through when we created those 
object. So we're going to log the name and then we're going to concatenate said and then we're going to concatenate the message. OK, so when we emit these speak events on each person, then it's going to fire this callback function, take through a message, then it's going to say who spoke and then the message. So let's call some events. Let's say um, James dot emit because that's how we emit the events. And then it's going to be a speak event. And we're going to pass through a message which is going to be, hey dudes, like so. Okay, so let's save that now and let's run this application. So node app. And then what we're going to see is say, uh, James said, hey dudes. So we attached that event here, remember, and then we emitted that event right here. So we can emit that event on whichever person we make, which is in this array, which we've attached those events to, those listeners. So we could say for Ryu, and we could say Ryu.emit. It's going to be a speak event, and it's going to be Amarakuru. Okay, so let's run this again and see what happens. This time we get James said, hey dudes, and Ryu said, I want a curry. All right, so this is really cool. We've got custom events now on our own objects, which we've made up, and uh, we've attached those listeners to each object, and then we've emitted those events. And we've done that using this events module and the events emitter and the utility module to inherit this event emitter on our person constructor. Pretty cool. So if you have any questions about this whatsoever, feel free to ask those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial.